Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video. And today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is an early look at their upcoming big ol' mega figure, straight from Batman Endgame, the Justice Buster. And, I'll be honest with you, this was definitely not one I had on my radar, not one that I was going to be picking up, so I do appreciate them sending this out for the purposes of this video. Here's the barcode for the Justice Buster. Once it starts to hit store shelves, hopefully in around September, the Justice Buster is basically a big old mech suit for Batman. And one of the storylines, Batman Endgame, the Joker gets to the Justice League and mind warps them. And of course, Batman has to take his... Many contingency plans, this one being a giant robotic suit complete with all kinds of ways to defeat the various members of the Justice League, because of course he would have that, but yeah, it's essentially just a giant mech robot. And for those of you in the know, a few years back, Mattel actually did a Collect and Connect Justice Buster, which, if you look at it here, is a little bit more on point with the source material. More on that in just a few, but in the meantime, we're going to sit back, we're going to relax, we're going to grab ourselves a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the new mega figure, the Justice Buster. And while I got all you giant robot enthusiasts here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates... We sure do talk a lot about DC Multiverse figures, which is always fun because here's the Justice Buster all out of the packaging. And once again, it is a mega figure, but same sort of deal. No extra hands, no extra parts, no battle damage effects you can clip on. It is a giant mech robot featuring all kinds of personalization from Batman. And for what it is, it's done really nicely. It has... Of course, bat symbols on the knuckles and on the forearms and on the back. You see the giant bat thrusters, the armored pieces. Everything is sculpted. Everything's designed really well. He's got the four-pronged feet to him. But the rivets, the bolts, the hands, the textures, it's all on point. I do like what they did here. It's ratcheted in the arms and when you twist it at the bicep and at the elbow. So it does keep everything aloft i do wish you could do the pinchy hands so that would be very cool you do have a fist on this side which again that's nice to see but how much cooler would have been if you could just kind of move those parts and pieces yourself right at least a little bit of them now with the head itself right it's interesting i think that this is again one of those where they took the source material and they made changes to it which is not the greatest. I like to see spot on. I like to see them do what is seen. The waist, unfortunately, at least on mine, is a little bit too loose for my likings. And that seems to be a thing with the mega figures. But the legs are solid. Again, those are ratcheted. I wish that the waist was ratcheted, right? Because it would have just held up a little bit better. Now, to kind of give you the scale on this guy... He's a little bit taller than Doomsday, and he's a lot a bit taller than the Anti-Monitor. Anti-Monitor's got some heft, as does Doomsday. You'll notice on this guy, not so much, right? Now, I will tell you this. In terms of the legs, right, you have this feature where he kind of has these knees, and then they extend a little bit to where you have a double knee, kind of, sort of, right? It kind of goes into the lower half of the foot so you can make him a little bit larger by doing this right which allows him a lot more posability options as well especially in the feet there's nothing at the actual four pronged feet they're just stationary that's how it goes but with the ratcheting joints minus the waist everything stays in place when you do this when you extend the legs he gets a little bit taller right so whereas he maybe would have been around the same size as Doomsday. He's got a little bit more heft to him, but yeah, the poor anti-monitor is still the same size. And like I said, with the punchy looking hand, with the outstretched hand, he looks nice. For those of you interested in posing him, you'll see enough here for a giant mech robot. Now, to be honest, I don't particularly mind that it's a bigger figure than what you see in the source material. I have no affection for this, for the storyline, for any of that. It's just like, yeah, that's 
modern Batman comics. It doesn't really do much for me. However, with the fisted punchy hand, you can punch all kinds of ugly Batman figures in the face. That's kind of reverse protocol, but hey, Bruce designed the suit, right? Now, you can get him going up against larger mega figures. That looks kind of cool. Even, again, this does not happen in any of the source material, but it's a fun robot Batman. But when using it to battle the Flash or Superman, I think some extra effects, maybe some battle damage that you can clip on, that would have been kind of cool. If you're not going to articulate the hands, give us some extra hands, which the open hand can hold a figure, but the caveat being the waist being a little bit too loose, whereas everything is ratcheted, you have to find that sweet spot. So all in all, there's a lot of great things happening here with this figure. The sculpt is tremendous. The overall look, the aesthetics, the articulation scheme is something very interesting, but the loose waist and the lack of source material presented makes this one largely a pass. So that will wrap it up for my early look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Justice Buster. And again, thank you to McFarlane Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. I will say more and more, it seems like a lot of DC Multiverse collectors don't really care for the source material. Now, it's not everybody, but hey, I do see a lot of the comments and a lot of people usually say, well, you know, it's not too shabby. And again, this Justice Buster ain't too shabby but it's just not something for me. But in the meantime, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Justice Buster. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, where does Batman find the time to make this robot? Where does this come from? Anybody, and when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.